Hi, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this video and you'd like to see more content from me. Thank you. My name's Gina from Cleveland, Ohio. The name of my channel is um, Fabulous Female and Over 40. So it's for our middle-aged middle -aged female chicks. Anyway, this is going to be a video about IT Cosmetics, um, which I tried for the first time eh, maybe eight months ago. And uh, people really love it. This, um, it's just, I don't have everything it on me right now. I have, the, it, uh, this is the CC cream, but it's a foundation. Um, basically, it's real heavy. The thing, of, the great thing about their cosmetics is it's supposed to be like a skin treatment moisturizer. And um, the SPF is 50 in this. Um, so uh, it's rather pricey. And I'm going to see if it lasts all day. I put it on at 12, and I think it's 2 now. And then I'll check in at the end of the day to let you know how the wear test went. So, like I was saying, I'm trying out the IT Cosmetics. This is the CC cream. I've used it before, but this is just to do a video on it, the wear test and everything. I do have the um, Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer, which everybody loves. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer, and it's in medium. So I have that under my eyes. And I didn't do any um, color correcting because CC Cream is color correcting, So, and I'll show you a little bit of that in the video. And then I did try out in this video the um, IT Cosmetics. Bye Bye Pores Pressed Translucent Powder, and it's white. I'll show you that in the video. That's just like under my eyes, though. Um, the eyeshadow <coughs> is Profusions. It's that $10 um, sultry palette I got from Target. Or Target. Um, the contour is um, Mega Glow Wet n Wild. The coffee, toffee caramel, or it's the dark one um, and highlighter is from Smashbox mascara is Maybelline no nope, L'Oreal I don't use Maybelline mascara um, eyebrows are just shadowed in so and it's just LA looks shadow uh, makeup forever lip paint I believe and wet n wild lip liner so um, I do have some great tips and tricks in this video if you're interested. So if you're interested, keep watching. I'm going to make it as short as I can. Um, I'm videotaping this now and I have to um, edit the actual video. So um, anyway, enjoy. Comment below, subscribe, share, uh, turn on notifications for any new videos. Um, and I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Hello everyone and welcome to the IT Cosmetics video. Uh, I sped this up because it was just me prepping my skin with my moisturizer primer uh, and then me applying it with a damp beauty sponge. So I sped it up to make the video a little bit um, quicker. It is a thick consistency CC cream and I rather think uh, I can feel it on my face so it's heavy and sticky. Um, to be honest and you really do not need a lot you only need a little bit and color correcting and concealing things it is very good at um, you could use it under the eye which I did here and so yeah that's that's about it for the application it is sticky you do have to let it set and dry before you apply powder Okay, here is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Waterproof um, Under Eye Concealer, Bye Bye Under Eyes, I think it's called, um, and it's in medium. This is extremely thick. I literally used a pin-sized drop of this on the back of my hand to heat it up first. Um, if you put too much on, it looks horrible. You just need a little bit, and if you use a brush and you pat it on instead of like brushing it on or rubbing it on, it does have a better finish. 
Um, I will say that the wear test on this concealer for me is horrible. It never works out for me. It looks good for about a couple hours, and then afterwards it looks really, really bad. So I don't know if that's just what I'm setting it with here. You can see what a small, tiny amount that I use. Um, and my color match is good. I mean, I could try a lighter shade, but this is usually the medium's pretty light. So, um, And I set it with a loose powder, too. Maybe I need something uh, thicker to set, to set this with. And you do need to let it set. That's why you see me with a fan, uh, fanning myself, because if you do not, it will oxidize horribly under your eyes. So I was just thinking this would be an awesome concealer to maybe mix in with a thinner concealer. Uh, maybe that's the problem. Uh, and here's a close-up of under my eyes, and you can see it's settling into fine lines. you got to really tap it out before you set it with powder. Um, coverage is, is good, it is sticky, and you do need to set it. Okay, so here I am fanning myself to let everything kind of dry and set. Actually, that that concealer and this foundation really doesn't do a lot of that. Um, here I am, I'm using the um, It Pressed Translucent Powder to set my under eyes, which again, I have um, bad baggy and um, I wouldn't say dark circles, but veiny under eyes. So I think I need, just need for me something uh, thicker to cover my under eyes. Um, it's a good loose powder. It's a good uh, translucent powder, not a loose powder, though. I will say that. Um, the f the under eye concealer people rave about, the coverage is good. It does not wear long. It feels very heavy and sticky. I'm just not a big, huge fan of this concealer. I will say that. I'm just using a little bit of that pressed translucent It Bye Bye Pores powder around my nose. And I'm in a conundrum if anybody has any tips, hacks, tricks that they use. Um, here's my conundrum is my skin is old, wrinkly, and dry. However, I do need the extra coverage. I like the extra coverage. So I need like uh, not a translucent powder, but a powder with color that doesn't cake up. So if you have any suggestions, please comment below and let us know. Here I'm using a banana powder around my eye to try and correct that. I used a Fit Me powder, which I dipped in like one time on a big fluffy brush, and then I just rubbed it and tapped it all over my face because, again, I need the coverage, but I don't like the look of all the powder. So that's what I'm doing there. So here is the finished look in the close-up. You can see the under eyes are already starting to crack. Um, and that was very lightly put on. And here I'm just sped everything up because that's not what the video is about. This is about is co it cosmetics, but I did use the Wet n Wild. Um, if you stop um, on whatever frame, you can see which one I used. But that's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow, Glow Palette. And um, I use that to contour and put highlight on. That's the banana powder I used. Now I'm contouring my nose to make it look smaller. I'm showing you what brush I'm using. And then I will show you the end product. Oh, here I am showing you the blush and bronze by Profusion. That is a $10 palette. It's got a highlight. It's got contouring. It's got bronzers. And it's got a bunch of different blushes. It is an awesome palette. And a little bit of this color, it's so highly pigmented, goes a long way. And if you tap it on, it is, um, it's like a dream. It's very, very good quality um, facial products. And the brush, people don't like the brush. There it is. I find it handy. Um, don't, like, sweep it, but you, you do want to, like, tap it. And a little color goes a long way, so you just want to be real careful and, and light-handed with uh, your coloring and that brush I will use for contouring but and highlighting but not the blushes just let me say that I do use a regular blush brush to lightly tap on some blush and that was light and look at the pigment on that um, that is a new brush I got from MUA and I'm using Smashbox powder highlight and I'm just gonna sweep that in the areas you will see here and I just mix all three colors together 
Um, if I want a brighter highlight, I will use a cream. But right now, I, it's an everyday look, so I'm just using um, a powder. So again, contouring um, will shadow things and make them recede, and highlighter um, brings things out. Just FYI. Okay, from Target, I have um, a Profusion Sultry eyeshadow palette that I love. That's what I'm going to be using on my eyes. I do use, like, um, their brush is really good that comes with it. Um, a flesh color, color all over my eyelids to um, kind of begin with. And I make that sure that's all in. And then I pick my colors and put them in um, using the brush that came with the palette. Um, again, these, when I bought these palettes, the um, Profusion Blush and Sultry Eyeshadow, they were buy one for $9.99, get the second one for 25% off. Well, well worth it. So again, this isn't about Profusion or other um, makeup. This is about it. So I'm going to speed through this. Enjoy. I just wanted to throw in that um, these are Velcro rollers you can get at Sally's or any drugstore and they come in really handy um, I blow dry I have naturally wavy curly hair I blow dry my hair straight normally um, and I can put these in as if my hair is wet and um, it just will add a lot of body to the the top and the sides and then after I blow dry a section I will also put it up to hold that style in and lock it in and um, did you know that hair is not really set the curl is not really set unless it's in your hair for at least 30 minutes. So that's just a little uh, tip trick. Okay, so here I'm just showing you the um, my eyes lined and everything, and here I'm filling in my um, eyebrows with the LA Colors Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I'm using a warm brown and a um, pointed Q-tip that you can buy at Sally's. Um, I do use uh, L'Oreal um, Butterfly Effect Black um, Mascara, but this is not uh, a mascara I would recommend. It is a real weird um, applicator. And if you need some, um, and I'll show you my tips and tricks on how I curl eyelashes and how I apply mascara, please watch that video. It has got some really great tips in it, if you haven't already. And tips and tricks on how to uh, correct mistakes you make with mascara if it gets like on your face or on your eye. Um, again, back to the L'Oreal Butterfly Effect Mascara in black. Not recommended. Real weird applicator. Um, but it's just one that I bought that I have to use up. So um, I am using a Makeup Forever, I believe, uh, nude um, lip gloss. And most of the things you'll see um, that I, well, a lot of it. Um, here I'm showing you how good the eyelash curler, my technique is for curling eyelashes and how good it looks. They look um, um, but a lot of the th the products that I will be using are just samples because I do not have a lot of money and um, I do get a lot of samples for free to try out not given to me I have to ask for them showing you how I highlight and the finished look and um, I will say that it Cosmetics is good. It's got a high SPF. It does cover everything. I just have to find my groove with it. Uh, the concealer uh, always breaks up on me. I just, again, maybe I just need to find the right powder and the right, um, the right way to use it. Thanks for watching. Here's my conclusion. Hi everyone, I'm back. 
Um, time to do the check-in with Did Cosmetics. It's been about um, nine, nine and a half hours. And I'm really super happy with it. Not super happy, but I'd say I'm happy with it. Um, this is the Fit Me um, loose powder that I used on this, and it does oxidize a little bit. Um, the, I don't know if it's because of the It CC Cream or the Fit Me um, loose powder. The under eyes, I'm not happy with it all. They're dry like a desert. Everything has settled into all the creases and the fine lines. It looks almost flaky. Um, other than that, not terribly happy, not terribly bad. I usually really, really like the way um, foundations look after they've been on several hours because I like that little bit of glowiness when it mixes in with your own chemistry and the, and the oils on your skin and kind of become one with your skin. Um, and this kind of does that, like over here and stuff. But I've had it, um, I've had foundations do that throughout my whole face. However, this is an awesome, awesome CC cream. Um, it does color correct. It is more of a medium to full coverage. You could probably put two coats on and it would be completely full coverage. Um, and it's very good for your skin. It's got SPF 50 in it. So, um, and everybody loves the concealer. Um, I'd have to try the concealer with a couple different powders to find um, the way I would wear it. So that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed this. I know you did. And if you did, please subscribe, share, recommend me to your friends. And uh, as soon as I get enough subscribers, I'm going to be doing those giveaways. So have a great night. Happy New Year. Here's a 2018. Let's make it a great one. Bye-bye.